Strangler figs are some of the coolest things you'll find in a rainforest. You may be familiar with these fleshy fig fruits that feed lots of wildlife like these patamelons, or maybe you've even seen birds feeding on them. Each fig is full of seeds, and when a bird feeds on it and poos in the canopy, those seeds can be essentially planted in the upper branches. Up there, it has access to light, which normally plants compete for in a dark rainforest. While it may start off as a sort of epiphyte growing on a host tree, over time, the strangler fig strangles its host with its root. By growing in the canopy above and sending roots down below, it has essentially replaced the host tree that it grew on top of. This is why if you look inside a strangler fig, you often find a hollow hole where the host tree once stood. But this is not the only wonder about these strangler figs. Consider the fig and ask yourself, have you ever seen a fig flower? Probably not, because the fig flowers are actually very tiny and hidden inside the figs themselves. So, to get in there and pollinate those flowers, they need a tiny friend. Enter the fig wasp, a pollinator for hidden flowers. The female fig wasp can see and can fly, and she has a wedge-like face that helps her get into these figs, pollinate the fig, and then lay her eggs inside. The male fig wasp, on the other hand, is nothing more than a pair of jaws and a phallus. They emerge inside of the fig, find their female, fertilize her, and then chew an exit hole so she can escape and fly to a new fig. Once she leaves her home, she will be covered in pollen and seek out a new fig. She'll then wedge her way in through the bottom of the new fig, pollinating the flowers there, and then venture through laying her eggs wherever she can. She'll subsequently die inside. So however strange this pair is in appearance, the fig wasp need the fig and the fig tree needs its fig wasp pollinators. But what happens when you come across a fig that's ripened but has no holes? Well, you have a bit of a surprise inside. Hundreds of fig wasps. Some are pollinating and some are freeloaders, parasitizing. While every species of fig needs its own pollinating fig wasp, there are always a group of fig wasps that parasitize the pollinators. These are guys that have really long ovipositors or stingers. They've been modified so they can drill through the flesh of the fig and lay an egg inside. Their larvae can then feed on the flesh of the fig or on other larvae of pollinating fig wasps. These freeloaders are not pollinating the fig, but instead they're exploiting the nutrients of the fig and accessing a safe haven for their larvae to grow up in. But why do these wasps have such long tails or ovipositors? Well, the fig has counteracted. Figs with thicker flesh can protect the pollinating fig wasps inside from being parasitized. So that thick flesh has made it advantageous to have a longer and longer ovipositor. But for these guys, a long ovipositor doesn't matter. They can lay an egg and just walk off, whereas the pollinating fig wasp dies inside. It's a scary world outside of a fig though, and these parasites have plenty of obstacles. You can choose your own adventure. Would you be a beautiful metallic fig wasp that is actually a freeloader? Some ants having a snack? Or would you go the simplest way, being a pair of jaws and a phallus? I'll leave it up to you.